When the Prophet wasallam told us to do things, they were for a reason. After Salatul Isha, if you do not have anything constructive to do, go to bed. Early to bed, early to rise. Those sayings we've heard. Islam has taught them to us way back in a way that if you were to do it with the correct intention, you earn a reward. You earn a reward. So the Prophet ﷺ not only taught that to us, he actually practiced upon it. After Salatul Isha, he used to love to recline quite early. And then he would get up early as well. Subhanallah. Look at it. Why recline? Many reasons. If you don't have anything constructive to do, recline. Look, I want to tell you, many of you are married here, mashallah. For those who are not married, let's hear a loud ameen. May Allah bless you with the best of spouses. Mashallah. That means quite a few of you are not married as well. But those of us who are married, subhanallah, imagine your spouse coming into bed for a change after Salatul Isha. Allahu Akbar. I think you have to have a walima the next day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. But what happens? We sit doing nothing. I've, I've had a meal now. I've, salah is over. I'm sitting with my friends with the, with the shisha. You know what's a shisha? People say that's not smoking, so it can't be haram. It's worse. May Allah forgive us. No excuse. Doesn't mean in some countries they've now legalized the weed. So suddenly weed becomes halal. No, it doesn't. The ruling remains the same. Maybe medicinally, yes, there is a lot of benefit perhaps under certain conditions. If the experts were to give you that advice, that's a topic on its own. But we're talking of social weed. They say, ah, oh, weed is allowed. Is it allowed? Okay, right. Let's start weeding. No, no. May Allah forgive us. But remember my beloved brothers and sisters, when the Prophet ﷺ was intimate with his spouse, it was an ibadah. He told us, Fi budu'i ahadikum sadaqa. It's wrong to speak about the night of the Prophet ﷺ without learning a lesson. Many people complain, I've been married and you know we haven't been intimate for a month. Wallahi, someone told me, eight years I haven't been intimate. Allahu Akbar, are you sure? It's not eight days. You're married, for what? Where is the man going? What is he doing? May Allah forgive us. Why do you hold someone if you don't want to be intimate with them? Do it for the sake of Allah, for your own sake. Subhanallah, Allah has kept pleasure in it such that we are engaging in an act of worship and people won't even consider it an act of worship. So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum were surprised. They said, Ya Rasulallah, you, you know, you're just saying fi budu'i ahadikum sadaqa means to fulfill your sexual desires with your spouse is a charity. It's an act of worship. Is that it? He says, yes, it is. Do you see if you were to fulfill that desire in haram, would it be sinful? So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum said, yes, it would be definitely sinful. Well, then if you do it in halal, it is an act of worship. It is a sadaqa. Subhanallah. So get used to it, my beloved brothers.